Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And as you probably know by now, Apple has released iOS 17.2, the latest big update to iOS 17 with a lot of new features and changes. And if you have installed iOS 17.2 on your device and you're not satisfied with the battery life that you're getting, here are 20 tips and tricks that will help you get way better battery life on your iOS 17.2 device. Now, first of all, before we talk about these tips and tricks, I just wanna let you guys know one thing you should actually be patient with the updates that you install on your device especially for the first two or three days you will most likely get worse battery life than you had on the previous update this has also been confirmed by apple the update needs a few days to actually settle in on the device that way you will most likely get worse battery life in the first couple of days the next one will be app updates. A lot of apps will be updating once a new iOS software is released. So you wanna make sure that you also have your apps up to date so they will work with your iOS device as they should. So make sure you go to your app store app and update all the apps that you have installed on your iPhone. Now, if you don't wanna bother with that, you can also set this to be done automatically. And that can be done simply by going to your settings. Under the app store settings, make sure that you have app updates enabled on automatic right there. And anytime there's a new update for an app, you will have it installed on your device automatically. Now with iOS 17.2, Apple has also added a new feature which now allows us to change the default notification alert on devices. Well, with that comes another feature that will allow you to actually set custom haptics for any of your notifications. So if we go to haptics, we have the default one, but if you have created a custom one and it contains a lot of vibration on it, make sure you remove it and you replace it with the default one. Because if I create a new vibration here for a simple notification sound and I just keep holding my finger like this and it has a ton of vibration on that setting it actually will consume a ton of battery as it will invoke the vibration engine for a long time that way consuming a ton of battery Another new feature of iOS 17.2 has to do with live activities. With iOS 17.2, if you have like a sports app like NBA, for example, and I use live activities for a game for one team and I have that team favorited and I just, just use live activities whenever that team plays, your iPhone will basically learn that and will invoke live activities whenever that team has a game. That way, of course, always consuming your battery. As you know, live activities do consume a ton of battery especially if you have enabled here more frequent updates it even says here that it can drain the battery of your iphone faster so what i suggest you do if you want to keep those live activities turned on at least make sure that you have disabled more frequent updates new to ios 17.2 is also the ability to help improve ar so if you go right here under privacy and security and you scroll all the way down to analytics and improvements, you will have something here called improve AR location. So basically this will be enabled and it, it tries to help Apple just improve the AR location. But of course that works in the background, which means that it does consume battery. So make sure you have it turned off. Under the general settings on iOS 17.2, head on to AirDrop and you will have here bring devices together, which means that this is the new name drop feature that Apple has added to iOS 17. If you're not using this feature, I would suggest that you actually keep it off. That will save you a ton of battery. Now name drop is a cool feature and all that, but it of course consumes a ton of battery as it's active all the time. So if you're rarely using or you don't use it at all, make sure you also switch this off. New to iOS 17.2 is also the ability here to turn your iPhone into an AirPlay receiver. Now you can do that by enabling this feature right here. What it basically does is that it allows to stream or share content from Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone, basically turning your iPhone into an AirPlay receiver. I don't think most people will need this feature. It will be there, it will be enabled, but it will just consume battery. So make sure you go under settings, under AirPlay handoff and have this turned off completely. With iOS 17.2, Apple has also added some new widgets and we have three really cool widgets here for the weather, but they will consume battery, especially this one right here. It is active all the time. It is updating information all the time and give you all these details regarding the current weather 
on your location. It's updating information. At the same time, of course, is using your location to show you the correct information you need there. That means that this widget will actually consume a ton of battery. So these are all the three new widgets, which I suggest you be careful while using on iOS 17.2, because especially the one with the details will most likely consume a ton of battery. And now we move on into some more general stuff that you can do on any device pretty much to save a ton of battery. And the first one will be apps that do consume a ton of battery. And you can locate those apps by going into your battery settings. You go here and you move here to the last 10 days and you will see a list of all the apps that you use on your device and how much battery they're using. You can show the activity right here and it does show you all the hours that you have spent on that app and of course then how much battery they have consumed. This means that these apps are consuming a ton of battery if they're at the top. Now it's okay if you see there an app that you do use a lot of times, but if you see there apps that you actually rarely use, but they're still consuming a ton of battery and they're right here, then make sure you replace them with other apps. Another iOS 17 feature, which I suggest you turn off if you actually don't need it, is right here. Under screen time, you will find screen distance. Now, what this does is basically trying to reduce your eye strain by just pushing you to actually move your iPhone further away when you have it very close to your eyes. Now, of course, it's a good feature to have. It will probably protect your eyes in a lot of time, especially for younger people, but if you have this turned on all the time, it will always be scanning for your eyes and trying to see the distance between your eyes and the iPhone. That way, of course, it does consume a ton of battery. Now, one thing I suggest every iPhone user does is use Wi-Fi most of the time. I see a ton of people very rarely will use Wi-Fi. Most of the time they will have their iPhone on stellar data, which means that they're just consuming a ton of unnecessary battery. Cellular data does consume way more battery than Wi-Fi does, so whenever you get the chance to, make sure you have your iPhone connected to Wi-Fi instead of cellular. And when talking about cellular data, when you go to your cellular settings at the top of your settings app, and you go to cellular data options, under voice and data here, you will have a few different options. So you will have, of course, LTE, then you have 5G on, which means that 5G will be on all the time, or you have 5G auto. Now, if you're on a place where you don't have really good 5G coverage, never leave your iPhone on 5G on. That will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. Your iPhone will all the time try to connect to 5G even though the reception won't be that good. That way it does consume a ton of battery. My suggestions, if you don't have really good 5G cover, make sure you use LTE or at least put it on 5G auto. Something that will have quite a big impact on battery life is the vibration engine on your iPhone. That does require a ton of energy. So what I suggest you do is go to your settings and then under sounds and haptics, you will have here a section for haptics. So you will have four different options here. Now I choose to never play haptics on my device. That's what I prefer, but you don't have to use that. I would suggest that you actually use play in silent mode. If you use always play, you will always have haptics playing on your device. It doesn't matter where you have the volume up or not. So by just choosing play in silent mode, you know that you hear the notifications when you're not on the silent mode. But of course, when you're on the silent mode, you will still get a haptic feedback. Now, one very simple thing that we always thought was good is closing apps from the app switcher. Well, this has been confirmed by Apple. Closing apps is not the way to go. When I close an app here from the app switcher, whenever I want to use it again, my device will have to actually reload the app from the beginning. That way it consumes way more energy on my device. Now, according to Apple, you should actually keep the apps on the app switcher because they will be there ready to go and whenever you need the apps you can just open them from the app switcher without having to completely reload the app each time you want to use it. And then of course is the old background app refresh trick. You don't need all apps to be refreshing and downloading stuff in the background. This is confirmed to actually save a ton of battery. What I suggest you do, head on to your settings. Under general, you will have background app refresh right there. Take a look at these apps. For the apps that you don't need to be working in the background, make sure you have this turned off right here. So we'll have the list of the apps and simply 
turn it off as easy as that. Now, one thing I would always keep off is a setting that you can find under the accessibility settings and then head on to Siri right here. You will find something called always listen for the hey word. Now, this will keep your iPhone basically scanning for that word all the time. Whether your iPhone is out of your pocket, on a desk, in your pocket, facing down, every time it will be listening for that word. Of course, when your iPhone has to be active to do something all the time, that also requires a ton of battery. So go to always listen for Hey Siri and make sure you have it turned off. Sound recognition is another feature of iOS which might be cool and might be useful in a few like different scenarios, but most of the time you will probably not need it. You can find it here under the accessibility settings. And if you have this turned on, but you don't actually need it and you don't use it, make sure you switch it off. The same goes for back tap. You will find back tap here under the touch settings under accessibility. You go to back tap and right here you will find of course the double tap and triple tap if you have these enabled and you have something set up there but you're not actually using maybe you just set it up to try it or something like that make sure you go ahead and select none right here so you don't have an action there that you will invoke all the time most likely by accident and not really needed and it will just consume the battery of your iphone and of course always make sure that you use dark mode as much as possible especially with oled devices if you have an iphone that has a newer screen with the oled devices all the parts of the screen here where you see the black color that is part of the screen that is completely turned off which means that it's consuming zero battery that will help a lot so always make sure that you go out to display and brightness and have your dark mode turned on for as long as possible also under accessibility and then here under display and text size, you can find auto brightness. I have it turned off right here because I'm shooting the video and I don't want the screen to get really bright, but you should keep it on all the time. This will help you protect your eyes because it will just adjust the screen brightness with the brightness of your environment, but also saves a ton of battery. And last but not least will of course be notifications. One of the biggest battery drainers of iOS. If you don't notice this, if you have a ton of notifications turned on, you will see that they do consume a ton of battery because they just lighting up the screen of your iPhone all the time. What I suggest you do is just take a look at the list of the apps that you have right here. Of course, you need to have notifications on for things that you need to have immediate notifications or that are really important. For the other apps, I would suggest that you put them on the scheduled summary. You can set up the scheduled summary right here and then of course choose the apps that you want to place there. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.